Julie Kelly here from West Lacau Independent School District. This video is how to create in Google Drawings. This is designed for students to follow along. There are three ways to access Google Drawings. One way is to type in drawings.google.com. The second way is if you are in Google Drive, in the upper left corner of Google Drive you will see the new button select drawings and a third option is if you are in Google Classroom and your teacher has given you an assignment you will see a create button there and if you open up create one of your options will be to create in Google Drawings I'm gonna go ahead and access Google Drawings through the second method you see there Google Drive new drawings Okay, I am in my Google Drive. In the up left corner, you see the new. I'm selecting it. I have Google Docs, Sheet Slides on the More button when I open it up. I get the opportunity to go to Google Drawings. Go ahead and select that. And now you have your canvas. The first thing you need to do always is put your name on your work. So up here for Untitled Drawing, I'm not going to actually put my name, but I am going to title my work. And this is going to be a happy birthday picture. Happy birthday pic. Perfect. And I am going to resize my canvas, make it a little smaller. So I'm going to go to File, Page Setup. I'm going to select where it says Standard. I'm going to select the little triangle to open up, Custom. And I want this to be eight inches by eight inches and if you didn't want to use inches you could change it to centimeters points or pixels I'm fine with eight by eight I'm going to select OK and now I have a square canvas to work with first thing I'm going to do is type in my message happy birthday I'm going to use word art so I can make it look really cool and fun and you can find that under insert word art type in your message double check make sure I've spelled correctly when I'm done all I need to do is hit enter and now I can play with this message I'm going to come up to my fonts and find something cool notice as I click on it it changes automatically for me and I can preview whether I that's the font I want Uh, there, I'll go with that font, Chewy. If you don't find the font that you like, if you open up more fonts, it'll give you options and you can look at them through this list here and just click and slide up and down and you can find your different fonts. When you find one you like, you just uh, select it and click OK and it becomes a font that you can find in your list here next thing I've got my font I'm gonna resize it by clicking and dragging on the corners I want this nice and big there we go I want it to fill up my space time to change my color I'm gonna to go to the paint can and I'm gonna make it bright yellow now notice the black lines outlining my letters if I want I can go to border weight and make those black lines bigger Ooh, look at that. Too big for me. I'm go back to size 4. Alright, let's say I don't want black lines, so I'm going to come to the pencil and I want it to have blue lines. That looks pretty good to me. And so that's word art. Next, I'm going to insert a shape. So I clicked on the circle and the square and I could add Whole bunch of different shapes. I have the options of different arrows, call outs, math signs. I'm going to go ahead and add a square. And now I'm just going to click and drag it out. And I think I want it to be this blue. So I'm going to go to the paint can. Let's pick that same blue. And very good. Now I'm going to add a picture on top of this blue background. 
You can find that under Insert, Image. I'm going to go to the web, and I want a birthday candle. So I'm going to type in birthday candle. And I have some options. Let me scroll through here. Ah, oh, that one looks good with the cupcake. I'm going to click on it. Insert comes up down here in the bottom corner, so I'm going to select Yes, Insert. And there it is. It's covering up, so I need to shrink it down. I'm going to put it inside that blue square. Let's say things are out of order and you want the blue on top, which we really don't, but let's say you did. You'd click on the blue, come up to you here where it says Arrange, Order, and we'd say put that in the front. And now it's in the front, but that's not what we want. I want it behind, so it's already selected. I'm going to go to Arrange, and the order, send it to the back. And now my candle picture is back on top. So that's how you can layer your images on top of each other. You have lots of different things you can do in Google Drawings. All you have to do is get in there and play and tinker and discover a few new tricks on your own each other. One final thing. Once you're done with your drawing, you need to be able to send it out so that you can use it. So you're going to go to File. Download as, and my preferred choice is the PNG image, so I'm going to select it. And notice, because I gave it the title Happy Birthday Pick, it is now saved as the same title, Happy Birthday Pick. So when I go to my media files in my computer, I can find it under Happy Birthday Pick, and it's a PNG. And once it's in that format, I can add that image so that it is now on top of a dock. That's how you create in Google Drawings. Have at it!